Shadow of the Earth Tree centers around Mikula, son of Merica and brother of Melina. Now, as we all know, Elden Ring has a crazy, crazy in-depth story with so much shit going on about it. So I don't want to go too much into detail and I don't really want to spoil anything for anybody that's really just trying to get a quick little gameplay review and stuff like that. So when it comes down to the story, we're just going to leave it at that. Give you the key from what I heard, I think. Mikola might be inviting people to the Diddy party. <laughs> from that. You're a victim. Through my 20 hours of gameplay, I will say that this game, or at least this DLC, gives me that good old Souls-like feel. With the new set of weapons that they came out with and the new set of unique enemies, this DLC just expands on like your current builds coming up with like a, bu a bunch of new builds just based off of the new weapons that they came out with such as what was one of them it was like the beast claws that's what i've been using like crazy so far the martial arts the martial arts Th there's just stuff in here where it's like they just they knew what they were doing when they did this they said hey you know what these bosses pissing you off and you just want to slap the shit out of one of them hand-to-hand -hand combat give them the martial arts they knew what they were doing it's my bread and butter bro it really is. The fact I can walk up with straight hands and just knock, <laughs> <laughs> knock a nigga out is crazy. Bro, the game of the year. You're sitting here walking into a god's arena and said, I'm just gonna fucking spark and kick them right in the jaw. I beat the shit out one of these niggas, boy. Straight up. They have a few other weapons between, uh, I believe it was perfume bottles, which from what I could tell is a broken ass weapon right now. Uh, they have the light great sword, which is really interesting but all these weapons really spice up the way the game feels and kind of really gives you like a different way of building your character uh compared to the way that it was in the main game they have some pretty unique good like unique weapons as well um based off of like the remembrance from the bosses that you do beat such as you know the one that was pushing my shit in for 15 hours almost such as relena her twin blade set is insane Typically, when you beat a boss, you get their broken ass weapon, and I feel like you're kind of like, damn, like, this is what they were cooking me with for hours on end. And you use it, and it's like, this is kind of shit. Bro, when I got her weapon finally, and I got to use that shit, I felt just as badass. Like, it looks just as badass as when she was using it, which actually really caught me by surprise. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. When it comes to the difficulty of this DLC, I gotta tell you guys, I went through the main Elden Ring campaign, probably a total of three, three times to completion, just because I wanted to get like the different endings that they had. And, you know, of course I switched up my build and was trying like a bunch of different things. I'm not really somebody that likes to go online and really like look up like the best builds and all these other things. I kind of just go and mix things up the way that I want. <clears throat> and, um, I'll say going through the, the main game, I went through it three whole times. And with each of those times, it was kind of like a, a nice little walk in the park. You know what I mean? Like, you know where the bosses are. You kind of figure out certain things, yada, yada, yada. So you kind of like breeze your way through. Um, in this game, or not this game, but this DLC, when I w came from my new character build which was one that was rushed just so that i can get into the dlc going through the main game they set I, I in my opinion i feel like they set a crazy stage for like the big bosses even i feel like you were saying it jameer in, in your main game playthrough how like getting to the bosses is harder than beating the actual bosses 100 percent they took that concept that you had and they just decided, hey, you know what? It's already hard to get to the bosses. Let's just make the boss fucking impossible. And that's what I was dealing with in the DLC. <laughs> They're like, remember when you had openings and times to attack? Now I've got that. <laughs> exactly. You can walk into a boss fight in the main game and they will let you call in whatever summon you need. You can call in, buff, do whatever you need before fully, like, you could walk through the door and get it all off before they decide to attack you because they do this weird shit in the main game where they just casually start walking up to you like you ain't shit. 
in the DLC, they do not give a fuck. The second your pinky toe goes through that mist wall, they are unleashing a 13 piece combo on your ass where if one single hit hits you, you're dead. Just eating it. I love starting. When it comes down to the boss fights in this game, even the normal mob enemies will literally sit your ass down in a matter of seconds. And I think the devs bless their souls for putting in, they have, it's like the scourge tree blessing or something like that. Where it's, Shadow tree blessings? Yeah, they're these little fragments that you collect. Kind of like how in the main game you collect the, the golden seeds and stuff to boost your flasks and stuff like that. They knew damn well what they were doing with the difficulty and how much damage these damn things were going to do because they decided to input these little fragments to boost your character's damage and damage negation. So if you're struggling, it might be a good idea to try and farm those or find out where they are and see where you can get them or as many as you can before you're jumping into these crazy boss fights because you're going to need them. Yeah, I think that's where a lot of people who are complaining about the difficulty online are fucking up. Because they're going and expecting their one-shot builds from the old game, or from the main game, to come in the DLC and start one-shotting people. Yeah, and, and that's the and whole... I mean, if it did, that would kind of make it a little bit pointless. Yeah, and, and that's the whole thing. I think uh, there's a lot of, I feel like, controversy. Not controversy, there's a lot of... Like, no, that's controversy. Yeah, between between like people saying, "Hey, you know what? The game is difficult as shit, and it's kind of BS." To hey, other people are like, "It's not that bad." <clears throat> In my opinion, you're like if you watch any of our videos, you will see me cursing this game out and talking about how much bullshit it is. But I'm literally getting what I asked for. All right, I'm playing a Souls like game. You know, I I'm walking into these boss arenas like you're going against gods, people, right? Like, if I'm walking in beating their ass with one hit, like what what am I paying the the forty dollar price tag for? You know what I mean? Like, I wanna I want an experience. I want to walk into this stage that they're setting and be fucking stressed out and fucking like fighting for my life, which is what it fucking felt like the entire time. All right. There were some parts that were I feel like were kind of BS between like some of their move sets being like a little too crazy or just downright unavoidable. But it was also one of those where I also realized that there is definitely a skill issue with how I was playing and really needed to switch up my own playstyle. Except for some of their bullshit ass moves. All right. When I'm sitting there getting juggled by a giant ass AOE move that nukes the entire arena three fucking times. And if you get hit by just one, you're just fucking dead. All right. And the most disrespectful part is if you get hit by the first one, you're just watching your dead body get juggled three times in a row. All right. No, nope. the ability. Like how? How do you dodge that? Oh my god, I swear I feel like I'm timing that, like, just right. Now, mixture of skill issue and just sometimes downright unavoidable, like, movesets. I'm still frustrated just thinking about it, so I'm gonna I'm a just apologize for any little outbursts. <laughs> Especially since I spent 15 hours on the one boss. <laughs> When it comes down to the performance of the game, there's still one thing I will never get over. And this is why I went through like playing the modded version of the game like way, way back then, which was why is this game still locked at 60 FPS? <laughs> and I'm sure Jabir can go ahead and give his his complaints about that. Bruh, this game has been out for three years two three years <clears throat> and the shit is locked at 60 fps not only is it locked at 60 fps it's not a stable 60 fps this shit will randomly stutter for like no fucking reason i i, I don't understand and the, it's like if the modding community can fix it why can't the devs fix it yeah i think that's one of my big things like 
the big two things for this game i mean it could also i i mean if the devs just don't want to do like certain things i get that too like the seamless co-op was like a big reason why i switched over to the mod stuff back uh back when it was just the base game base game um, i mean FromSoft has a history of not giving a single fuck about pc so i mean that's just kind of i guess we got to take it the only thing that pisses me off is you use the patch or the it is basically a patch to fix the game's frame rate issues it's like then you get banned if you don't go online on the game yeah and it's kind so of it's it's, like you're not gonna fix it but then you're gonna punish the community for fixing it themselves that's yeah. corny as fuck to me i don't know they could just be like hey you're getting six you're getting 100 and something fps this guy's only getting 60 it's not fair when they're invading you it's like they fix your fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> now overall um i think that's one of the big things for me when it comes down to it the whole being stuck at like 60 fps like Jameer saying it's not stable there's also the issue of just the game just outright freezing for a hot second and i feel like it always happened at the worst time i'm sitting here trying to avoid a boss's crazy ass 13 piece combo that'll kill me in one hit and it decides to freeze on the very first hit or in mid dodge animation as much as i would like to say it's my pc i can guarantee you it's not <laughs> flex on them real quick flex on them nah i won't flex my specs but we'll just say it's uh, not my pc uh, uh, i ain't going i ain't going flex you ain't gonna let him know about the 90? Nah. You ain't gonna let him know? All right, all right. It's a 90, 90 Ti, get it right. A prime thing of mine, and I don't know what it is, you saw in the X Defiant video, I seem to be the person that breaks a lot of these games for no reason. Between uh, my issue right now is, I don't know if it's an issue with just the Beast Claw weapon itself or what, but one of the big issues that I'm currently struggling with in the DLC is my weapon of choice is the beast claws and it's an amazing like set of weapons that give you like a crazy combo move set on top of causing bleed damage and blah 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 everything else but one of the big things about the weapon is just your man maneuverability my problem is for some reason my character gets stuck in guard pose where he's just holding his hand up trying to acting like he's gonna guard something but it's not actually like guarding. Like I still get slapped the fuck up. And at the same time, it messes up my stamina regeneration, stopping me from being able to roll or it's just constantly draining it at like a crazy rate to the point that the regen itself is almost non-existent. The only way that I've noticed to be able to fix that is if I pause and unpause really quick which really sucks if you don't notice that it's happening because of the fact that if I'm in the middle of a boss fight and I'm dodging a crazy combo and then I stand up ready to hit a crazy ass combo, I can't because my stamina is not regening after those rolls because my guy, the second his roll is done, he's back in guard pose. Walk, walk, walk by. Why can't I? Whoa, whoa. Wait, what's going on? My game's glitched guaranteed i should not be stanced up this is probably why hold up oh i fixed it wow okay i just paused or <laughs> not pause but open up my menu and closed it but like i i was stanced up the entire time like i was like guarding that's why I was just like, what the hell? Wait, maybe that's why my stamina was... That's why my stamina was regenerating so low too. What? How was I even guarding with a... I can't guard with this. So I don't know if that's like a current issue. Maybe it's like my button scheme for my controller or something. But it wasn't an issue in the main game. For some reason, it's an issue now. Uh, I've only seemed to run into this issue with like the martial arts weapon and this... Uh, beast claw weapon so i'm assuming it's just like something with the coding for that uh but besides that the that's like the only real real glitch that i run into besides you know like the performance issues with the 60 fps and the the random freezing angry he's doing his move i'm dead mother fucker forty dollars $40 is the price tag of the DLC. Now, there's a lot of people that have an issue with that. There's a lot of people that don't. Um, one of the big things for me is, you know, 
forty dollars is is almost as much as as the game, the base game itself. I mean, it's almost as much as any full blown game out right now. Um, when it comes to Elden Ring, I don't think I've ever seen Elden Ring on any kind of discount either until about a week ago. So it's kind of crazy. Like Elden Ring has been its full sixty dollar price tag. I feel like since launch and their dlc being 40 dollars, i feel like gives everyone kind of like that worry like damn like am i really about to drop 40 dollars for like a quick dlc in my a opinion a lot of people dropped 100 well to get the game and the dlc yeah like getting the full combo <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh i'll be honest uh i haven't fully experienced a dlc yet like we you know stated 15 of my hours is simply just trying to beat one of the <laughs> the first bosses um but i did spend a good amount of time just doing random exploration and just like kind of exploring the map running into random mobs and seeing like the random areas and stuff like that and i'll be honest the scale of the dlc is fucking insane uh the overall overall experience when it comes down to it just from one my quick little i think i went through two main boss fights and on top of it just the fact that i'm 90 percent sure i haven't even explored most of the dlc because i'm definitely stuck behind the boss walls for certain ones the scale of it is crazy um is it justified for the 40 dollars price tag in my opinion so far with just what i got to experience it's already kind of there you're getting the crazy like new weapons the crazy new bosses the whole new area uh i love the fact that you could bring the the weapons into the main game like it's just to me i don't think 40 dollars is is that bad of a price for what they've given so far you're getting a massive open world with a bunch of content that can probably easily take someone who's not trash like jose probably like 40 hours to get through everything <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs> Fuck this game, bro. In my opinion, I, I think it's I think it's worth it. Um, you know, for those of you looking to hate your life, get some really good pleasures out of, you know, getting your shit pushed in. That sounded crazy. <laughs> let me, let me. That let me. sounded crazy. <laughs> what did he say? Hey. All right, Mr. Jose. So, after all that yapping, are you going to give it the stamp? Fuck yes, I'm going to give it the stamp, Jameer. Fuck this bitch. Waking every day, I don't see shit change. Trying to figure out what I can do about it. Trying to put my crew on, but the shit is too small. Maybe it's a stretch, nigga. We could even rock it. Yeah, we gotta lift off, but the shit is too slow. Lily, y'all been feeling like this motherfucker stalling. Seeing rock bottom and the sight is so appalling. Had